Rob, Julie, William Hunter's son Thomas was brutally killed in 2008 along with the family's housekeeper Shirley Sherman. Today, Hunter told the jury about Garcia's unprofessional behavior that led up to his termination. In 2001, Dr. Hunter said Anthony Garcia violated policy and, quote, common sense, causing damage to a body after an autopsy. A note from staff shows fury from the funeral director who came for the body. On the stand Wednesday, Hunter said when he told his colleague Dr. Roger Brumbach about it, Brumbach wanted to fire Garcia right away. The Creighton resident would instead go on probation until a prank call to another resident's wife proved to be, in Hunter's words, the last straw. In a meeting with Hunter and Brumbach, Garcia got fired. His appeal denied. The appeals board noted that the prank call was, quote, unwarranted and unacceptable harassment. Colin Mangrum is a trial law expert. The evidence in this case is not talking about Garcia as a bad person in general. What they're talking about is his characteristics in the context of uh, the, the revenge uh, theory. Hunter's son Thomas and housekeeper were killed in 2008. Brumbach and his wife Mary were killed in 2013. The answer to why is the key to the case. After Garcia left Creighton, reference checks started coming in, the latest in 2008 from Louisiana. They learned about the termination. County Attorney Don Klein asked Hunter, after you talked to the doctor at LSU within a few weeks, your son was murdered? Hunter replied, yes. Now, even through all of the problems with Garcia at Creighton, Dr. Hunter still wrote him a letter of recommendation so he could use it to find another residency program. Hunter telling the jury why he did it, saying he felt that in a different environment, Garcia might recover. Garcia would go on to lose positions at the University of Illinois, Chicago, and at LSU. Rob, Julie? Well, David, in this afternoon, prosecutors put the doctor who fired Garcia from LSU on the stand. She called Creighton, talked to Dr. Hunter, and then fired Garcia in 2008. Weeks after the phone call, Dr. Hunter's son would be dead. KETV News Watch 7's Christina Engel is live outside the courthouse with more. And that doctor who oversaw the residency program at LSU says she hired Anthony Garcia in July of 2007 and already by the following September she had concerns. But it wasn't until he applied for a Louisiana state medical license that she even found out about his history with Creighton University. The state board medical examiner says in this letter to LSU, they looked into Garcia's background where he claimed a successful residency at Creighton University, never mentioning that he was fired. Well, Dr. Anita Kablinger testified today he never even listed Creighton on his resume and didn't disclose any disciplinary action on his LSU application. Kablinger testifying that dishonesty was grounds from termination from the program. Look at this note taken by Kablinger during her final meeting with Garcia, where she says Garcia called Creighton racist for firing him, but she says that he left LSU quietly. Now, Dr. Kablinger says that when she confronted Garcia, she did mention the information that she had gotten by Creighton, but the defense asked if she mentioned either doctors Hunter or Brumbach by name, and she says she didn't think so. Now, coming up at 10, we'll have more on the trail of evidence that led investigators to Anthony Garcia. Reporting live at the Douglas County Courthouse, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7.